Good morning, it's Friday, the 18th of July, 2025. Yesterday was the FDA expert panel on menopause and everybody presented such amazing things, but really the most compelling for me was Dr. Roberta diaz Brinton. She presented the science on what happens to our brain in menopause. It's a little bit long, but I want you to listen. It's really compelling. Of Americans with Alzheimer's disease, two thirds of them are women that our research has shown that it's not because women live longer than men by 4.5 years, it's because the disease can start earlier in women during the menopausal transition. When the brain undergoes a substantial loss in the ability to utilize glucose as its primary fuel. This work, our basic science research shows that the brain undergoes, the female brain during the menopausal transition, undergoes a decline in glucose metabolism and a coincident rise in the deposition of beta amyloid in the brain during the same time frame. There is a small but not specific loss of gray matter, uh, not beyond the normal aging. What there is, however, is a decline in white matter, those connections across all neural circuits in the brain, giving rise to some of those symptoms that women can experience, the whatchamacallit syndrome. And what our research has shown is that the, the brain is indeed changing, that decline in glucose metabolism activates a starvation response that leads to utilization of auxiliary fuels. The brain will utilize its own white matter, catabolize its white matter, lipids, uh, to generate ketone bodies. Depending upon when hormone therapy is introduced, whether as has been spoken about previously, when introduced at the time of menopause and for menopausal symptoms, there is a significant reduction in risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. Whereas when the brain has undergone this decline in glucose metabolism, a rise in inflammation in the brain, there's an increased risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. And the gap that we still have in the menopausal hormone field is really applying precision medicine approaches to precision to generate precision hormone therapy for all women where appropriate. So that feeling that you have, that you can't remember things, that you're forgetting birthdays, forgetting names, that your brain doesn't work the same as it used to, it's real. We have science for that.